Hello, hello, hello guys. It is a beautiful day. I hope you are doing well. I sure am because we are doing a haul today, if you could not tell by the dressing gown. Oh, and the top peeking through. So we are doing a Princess Polly haul. You guys know I have an unhealthy obsession with Princess Polly. I just cannot get enough of their clothes. Since I've upped my Instagram game, I wanted some different outfits to take photos in. So I found some super cute items that I'm so excited to try on for you guys. Princess Polly were kind enough to give us another discount code. Discount, cheap clothes, yeah, yeah. So you can use Suzy PP20. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can use Suzy PP20 for 20% off. Okay, let's get in to the first outfit, which I of course have on underneath my dressing gown. Ooh, how cute is this? When I saw these jeans, I was so excited. I am forever looking for a nice pair of jeans. And they fit, they fit, they fit really well. They fit, they fit. They are going down a little bit at the back, but it's not my fault I got an itty bitty waist. <laughs> no, it's literally just because I have very big thighs. As per usual, I got an Australian size 14 in everything. This is the Dre top in white and it was 40 Australian dollars. And these pants are amazing. They are the Stacy jeans in denim blue and they were 80 Australian dollars. I hate basic clothes and these have all of these awesome little pockets on the side that are actually oh i was just about to say they're functional they're not functional but they're still cute <laughs> they i think quite flattering on the bootay all i want is for a pair of pants to fit on my thighs i am a simple girl <laughs> okay ignore my gross feet <sighs> haven't gotten a pedicure in a while probably due but they fall absolutely perfect in hindsight, it's probably good that the waist is a little bit bigger in case I'm wearing these to dinner and I have a big ass meal. A big ass bowl of pasta, I'm gonna need a little extra room. This top is a tinsy bit see-through. I'm wearing a nude bra underneath and you can kind of see it. It is really, really comfortable, really cute, I love it. This next top, I low-key feel like I'm wearing it wrong, but it still looks really cute, so we're just gonna go with it. It's actually a scarf. Look what I did. I like folded it. Oh my god, that would be so cute like tucked up like that as well. I should have gone to fashion school. This is the Desnuda scarf top in pink and it was 30 Australian dollars. Okay, I don't know why that is so cheap because this looks kind of like... Don't get me wrong, I have no idea about designer clothes but I feel like this looks high end. It has all of these different little naked women. But I think that this is adorable. I think I'm gonna wear the crap out of it. Obviously you're gonna need to pull this up a little bit throughout the day. But other than that, I actually feel pretty damn comfortable in it. Obviously I'm not gonna go jumping around because that would be a disaster. I feel like I'm in Fast and Furious. I'm like sitting on the car like. <laughs> There's so many possibilities with this scarf. This top is called the Calandra top in cream and it was 50 Australian dollars. Took me a second to figure out how to put it on. I'm not going to lie, but we got there in the end. Oh my God. I am playing a dangerous ass game right now. Titties ready to pop out at any minute. But other than that, gorgeous. If you've got a tinsy bit more boob, it's definitely a little bit harder to pull off a top like this, especially because there really is not much room for a bra, whether it be an invisible one or cups or whatever. You can tie up the straps as tight as you want, and you know I have hiked up those straps, so this is like as tight as it can go right now, just so I feel secure. But I can see at the end of the day, I may have some red marks around here. But as my mother always said, fashion over comfort, sweetie. 
I think this is gonna go with so many things. It gives me like Cher vibes. If I do better. It is so cute. They didn't fit. <laughs> I encountered a little bit of a problem <laughs> whilst trying to get into these pants. These are called the Jensen pants. They were 55 Australian dollars. I got them in a 14 like everything else. I'm gonna rip these if I even try to pull them up anymore. They were so cute. I was so excited. This top though, it's giving me Barbie off duty. It's giving me Regina George didn't wear pink on a Wednesday. I'm Gretchen Wiener. You can't sit with us. <laughs> this is the Savannah top in hot pink. One thing I will say, it's more of a hot pink on the website. It's like a bubblegum pink in person, but it's still super cute. It's actually like this thick cable knit material. So I think that this is gonna be a little bit warm for summer, but we still have some cooler days. So this is actually gonna be pretty perfect for right now. I'm obsessed with pink. I like rejected pink in school because I thought the boys would find me cooler. I know some of you did it. I know some of you did. But now I just absolutely embrace the fact that I love pink so much. I kind of wish everything in my bedroom was pink. It is popping open a little bit at my boobies, but I am wearing a padded bra. So if I was just wearing a normal bra, I'm sure it would be fine. This is the Wild Times bodysuit, and it was 50 Australian dollars. And this skirt is the... Ivana tie-dye midi skirt white slash black and it was 50 Australian dollars as well. Okay, first of all This oh is going up my coochie. This bodysuit is beautiful. I love how it shows a little peak of the bobbies. It looks so flattering like Has the little buckles at the bottom. So if you need to go pee pee if you need to go Susie PP20, then you don't have to worry about taking everything off. It's a nice soft material, not see-through at all from what I can tell. This skirt is so soft. It's like a rib material as well. I love getting a breeze up my skirt in summer and this provides exactly that. I feel like this low-key would work for maternity because it's really, really stretchy. I just need to get pregnant and be a maternity channel because I just, I know what's going on. Oh, we better stay hydrated, guys. <sighs> Changing in and out of clothes just works up an absolute sweat for me. Can we please take a moment for the dress? brand new arrivals so it didn't have any reviews yet but I saw that it was fully lined so that is always a good sign and yes it is fully lined it was a little bit tight to get on but now it is just sucking me in in all the right places the model who was wearing it was absolutely gorgeous this is the Shea midi dress in black it was 75 Australian dollars I don't know if you guys can tell but it has like one sleeve higher than the other has like this crescent moon effect. I love a midi dress. There is something about a midi dress that just makes me feel so confident. I feel so put together when I have a midi dress on. It is like a ribbed material. So it's more of like a comfortable material. So I reckon you could dress this down with like sneakers and a big denim jacket, or you could dress it up with some heels and like jewelry, I don't know. This is the Raven mini dress in Sage and it was 60 Australian dollars. So you can kind of see my undie line at the back, which isn't the best in the world. I am going to have to wear seamless undies with this and hopefully you can't see anything then. You guys know that I've been loving my greens lately on my plate and in my clothes. So this is just absolutely doing it for me. I think this is gonna be like a go-to dress for summer. It's also one of those ones that you can dress up and dress down, it's just, it's perfect. Has this scrunch detail on the side. This scrunch, what is with this scrunch and making look thick as a muffin, thick as a cake? So you could like pull this up if you wanted and wear it as a little mini dress. Look at that, we love versatility. I don't love that you can kind of see my belly button 
but the scrunch kind of covers that up anyway so it's not a massive deal i think it's really really flattering guys what do you think this is me if murray ever joined the army i would be there the next day at training like Oh yeah, I've wanted to join the army my entire life. I just never told you. <laughs> oh, I also forgot to say that I got some jewelry. So I got this little necklace set and I always thought that these sets were a bunch of different necklaces. Oh, maybe it is. Oh crap, that's gonna take ages to put on. I'll be right back. This necklace set is so pretty. I literally never want to take this off. This is called the Saints necklace set and it was 30 Australian dollars. Okay, first of all, that's cheap. You get four necklaces in it. I always see people with multiple necklaces on and I'm literally like, I wish I could wear jewelry like that. They are so cool. That looks amazing. Why don't I get one of those? And then every time I look at the jewelry section, I'm just like, I don't know. I look at it and I'm like, no, that wouldn't suit me. I feel like this literally just amped up my outfit. Like my, this dress has gone from an eight to a 10 now. I am on the stacking necklaces train now and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get off this train. I think this train is gonna become another obsession. I love it, I love it. Wow, it's so pretty. That was not the only accessory that I got. I also got a pair of glasses, but no, they are not sunglasses. They are actually blue light glasses because I obviously am editing a lot and I heard that blue light glasses are good for taking away a bit of that strain on your eyes from looking at the screen. And I thought these ones were really cute. I have no idea if I can pull them off, but let's give it a go. I look like I'm dripping because I got the gold glasses and the gold chains. Okay. I... Ugh. This is giving me librarian, has an affair with the principal vibes. The principal won't fire her and his wife is angry. I feel like Murray is gonna hate these, but I kind of think they're really, really cute. I, no joke, told my mum that I could not see properly and I needed to get an eye test in school just because I wanted glasses like my friend. And I was in that eye test, like I was perfectly reading A, C, X. And I was like, I don't know, uh, does it say two? Mum saw through it in the end and so did the eye doctor, but I'm very grateful for my 2020 vision. If you guys want, I'll talk about how these are going for me on Instagram and if I think they're helping with my eye strain. These are the truth be told blue light glasses. They look so cute on the model. And they were 35 Australian dollars. So they were cheap AF. So if they work, that is going to be absolutely amazing. I have been eyeing down this dress and they finally had it in my size. This is the On Cloud 9 midi dress in green and it was 92 Australian dollars. This is everything I dreamed of and more. It low-key reminds me of Fred Flintstone's wife for some reason, which I absolutely love. Like, that's all I ever wanted to be was Fred Flintstone's wife. The tie-up at the back is super duper pretty. These are so nice to wear in summer open back dresses. They literally just feel like you're wearing nothing, which is all I want. I just want to feel like I'm butt naked. <laughs> Everything about this is beautiful. I feel like a little soft cottage core girl and I'm loving it. It's super comfortable. It has a little slip underneath, which is also a light green. So you don't have to worry about um, flashing anybody. And then the over bit is actually like a little bit see-through mesh kind of material, which is just super soft and light and flowy. I feel like this would like, oh my God, imagine, imagine me on a cruise, actually maybe not a cruise. <laughs> This reminds me of like being on holiday, late night at dinner, you've gone for a swim earlier on so there's still like sand in your hair and you're wearing a cute little dress and you just don't give a crap. As you can see, this is the polar opposite dress of what I was wearing before. This is the Motel Verso mini dress, butterfly blue pink and it was 76 Australian dollars. I can't even explain the reaction I had when I saw this dress. There was something about it that just like pulled me in. I feel like this dress and I were meant to be together. I feel like we are soulmates. The butterflies are actually made out of little black velvet kind of squares. So friggin' cute. 
I feel like a queen in this dress. I feel like a party princess. It's kind of 90s, like edgy, but then it has the pink, which is like Barbie dream 2000s. Whoever designed this dress, I want to come and give you a kiss on the lips because you did an amazing job, sweetie. What do you guys think? Maybe it's not everyone's cup of tea, but there is just something that I love about this. Okay, guys, look at the way it like pulls in your waist. It is like doing me so many favors right now. Okay, and before we get in to the last fit, which... I know she was attractive, but... I am low-key, high-key sad because I ordered a different pair of jeans called the Attica jeans, which I was very excited for. They had like a little rip at the knee and they accidentally sent the Stacey jeans again. I was very excited for the Attica jeans. I did love the Stacey jeans, but I was not wanting two pairs, but that's okay. We'll send these back, get those Attica jeans, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you those other pair of jeans today. Mistakes happen. Oh well. But this last piece, also that same style where you can pull it down, it can be a midi, and I actually like this one better as a short skirt. This is the Hannah tie-dye set in blue, and it was 65 Australian dollars. I feel like low-key, it's more of a muted blue in person. It was a little bit more like ocean blue on the website, but maybe I'm just colorblind. But it's still really, really pretty. I love a two-piece set because now I have a skirt to wear with tops and a top to wear with bottoms. You literally can't go wrong. A lot of the time, the two-piece sets are almost the same price as just getting a top as well. So you decide. I don't know. My mum brought me up frugal and it's my favourite way to be. Mum's going to love this because it's in blue. Just you wait. Pretty. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. What do you like about it? I like the colours. I think that's my favourite, the tie-dye mm. dye. blue, but I think it's a really cute little two-piece outfit as well. And now I've got a skirt and a top. Yeah. This skirt, by the way, is lined with a mesh layer underneath, so it's going to stay in place. I love that it's so airy and soft. A lot of these pieces I'm really excited to wear because they're so comfy. What is going on with the weather? There is literally another storm coming and it was just so sunny. Anyway, it's about to storm and I really want to take a photo on this. I guess that is the end of the video. If you guys want to pick up any of these items, I will leave all of them in the description down below as usual. And make sure to use code SUSIEPP20 for 20% off. Thank you again to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I love you guys and I love all your clothes. I am so happy with how this haul went. The only cons were the stuff up with the pants and the pants that did not fit. Everything else is a thumbs up from me. I love doing these hauls for you guys. I appreciate every single one of your comments and I do read them all. Thank you so much. I just don't know how I got the most loveliest subscribers in the entire world. How did that happen? Why are you guys so amazing? Anyway, I'm going to stop kissing your ass for a second. <laughs> You deserve to have your ass kissed. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Also follow me on Instagram because I'm about to take some cute Insta pics. At Susie J Todd, spelled like my username. And comment down below and let me know which was your favorite outfit out of everything or just any video suggestions that you have. There is a storm brewing. So I better go and take some pictures, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.